This is Preacher Rich, and here's a short summary of the Gospel of Jesus Christ to let you know how you become born again and be able to have eternal life in heaven. Yes, eternal life in heaven. In Revelation 3.20 it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him and he with me. In Romans 10.13 it says, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. John 3.7 says, You should not be surprised at my saying, You must be born again. Acts 16.31, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And Mark 1.15 says, Repent and believe in the gospel. There are three main steps to become born again, to receive eternal life. A. Admit that you are a sinner in need of God. B. Believe that Jesus Christ died and rose again for your sins. C. Confess Jesus Christ as Lord of your life. The main concept is that you acknowledge that you're a sinner, that you have no ability to be able to get yourself into heaven, and that you trust in Jesus Christ to be the, your Lord of your life and to get you into heaven. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He was buried as the punishment for sin, and then he rose from the grave and conquered sin. And because he conquered sin, he is the source, the means to be able to get you into heaven. So the question is, is do you want Jesus to be the Lord of your life, to take charge and get you into heaven? And understand that in God's mind, there's something much more than just getting you to heaven. It's for you to live a victorious life here on earth, that you can be more than a conqueror through the power of Jesus Christ, that you can say no to sin, you can say no to those things that take control of your life, that you can live a victorious, overcoming life through Jesus Christ. So how about praying a prayer similar to this? Dear God, I admit I am a sinner in need of you. Please forgive me of my sins and give me abundant life here on earth and eternal life with you in heaven. I believe Jesus died and rose again for my sins. I confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of my life. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray some kind of prayer like that, that God has heard your prayer, you will have a witness in your spirit, you have a witness in your heart that something has taken place in your life. And I want to encourage you, how about giving us a call and letting us know you made this prayer or maybe uh, you have questions. You can give us a call, 1-866-WANT-GOD. That's 1-866-WANT-GOD. Or you can send me an email, preacherrich at creatingfutures.org. That's preacherrich at creatingfutures.org. Or you can go to our website, and there's all kinds of resources there at creatingfutures.org. Creatingfutures.org. I sure hope that uh, you have asked Jesus to come into your life. Again, if you have any questions, give a call, 1-866-WANT-GOD. Or give me an email, preacherrich at creatingfutures.org. Or just go to our website for all kinds of details, creatingfutures.org. If you like this video, please click on the like below and subscribe to our Creating Futures channel.